just so you're convinced that we created one. You know what I mean? Because here you see a DE, but let's actually do it. Okay. So we've got this guy, we have to find DZ, which is the differential or the total differential of, of, of this guy. Alright, so this is our F, right? So f of xy is this bad boy, x squared minus 5xy plus y cubed. Okay, that's our f. That's our f. Mm -hmm. And then in order to find the total differential, we have to compute uh, two things, right? We have to compute what? Del f, del x, x and del, del, del f, del y. Yeah, and that's all we got to do, right? It's actually really, really easy, right? Calculus 3, for the most part, is actually a very, very easy course. It's just the conceptually visualizing of the stuff that makes it hard. But the math is, for the most part, trivial. And if it's not trivial, it's just messy. It's not hard. There's nothing really sneaky or difficult. It's a joke. So del f, it's not a joke. Del, del f, <laughs> just came out. Del f. No, it's not a joke. Del F, del X. Count your part. Del F, del X. All right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the derivative of X squared is, is, is 2X. And what's the derivative of 5XY? 5Y. 5Y. Because the X, right, because the Y, 5 and the Y are constants. Minus 5Y. And what's the derivative of Y cubed? Y cubed. Zero. Zero. Right, because the derivative is with respect to X. So y cubed is a constant. Right? So it's funky. If you're, if you're not used to it, it takes some time to get used to. So 2x, 5 and the y are both constants. So uh, it's just the derivative of x is 1. So you just get negative 5y. And the derivative of this is, is 0. Okay. So now for the next one, can I squeeze it in down here? Can you see it? I'll, I'll do it. It doesn't matter. Del f of y. Del f of y. So the derivative of x squared with respect to y would be 0. So I won't write it. I'll write it, zero. <laughs> Just in case, like, what happened to the x squared? Zero. Uh, and then I'm stuck, uh-oh. Uh, five, five x? Yeah. Five x? Yeah. Five x, that's right, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then this is three y squared. Almost done, almost done. So now, now we can write down the total differential, right? Um, it's dz, but dz, what's dz in this case, actually? It's, it's zero. Right? Yeah, good. It's zero. So it's going to be, um, I'll, I'll write the zero on the right hand side. So it's del f, del x. So 2x minus 5y. And then it's dx. Right? That's del f, del x, dx. Del f, del x, dx. Plus. Plus. And which one do we write next? Yeah, the del f, del y. Good. So it's, so it's minus 5x. Plus 3y squared. Good, Philip. Plus 3y squared. And then it's dy, and it's equal to zero. 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 So we created a de. Wait, we created a de one more time. So given, uh, given a function that's equal to c, f of x y equals c, uh, we can create a de. So note, let me um, let me give something a name here. So so this here, let's call this one. And so note, this is the this is the key point. Note f of x y, or rather, let me write it this way. Um, this function here, so x squared minus 5xy plus y cubed equals c. So this is f of xy equals c. Now this is a solution, this is super important, is a solution to 1. Super key, because in every single homework problem, after you're done, you're going to take everything you have and you're going to set it equal to c. Right? And that's the reason why. This, this moment right now, like this, this is the reason why. Because you'll forget, because we'll never talk about it again. So, and if we talk about it, we're like, oh, it's because we did it at the beginning. Well, this is what I mean by doing it at the beginning. So we came up, we started with this function, f of x, y equals c. And we created a differential equation that looks like this. So in the homework, the problems will look like this. We're going to solve them, and then we're going to get an answer. And all of our answers have to look like this. So after we do all our work, we take our final answer and we always set it equal to what? Set it equal to? C. C. Super important, right? Every single time. And the reason is this. This came about from this, right? So this is a solution to this. It's a really big source of confusion because no one ever understands it. All right, so the question is, can we go backwards?